Suspecting that the man posing as Dr. Tymac is an imposter, Brick sends Sandy in search of the doctor's assistance. But Sandy encounters Ladron's men, and now as Brick comes in search of him... They'll never find him at the bottom of the dump. snap out of it. We've got work to do. Did my parachute open? <laughs> no, it didn't. Work? Work? What, 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 what kind of work? You were trading one of Dr. Tymac's aides, remember? That's right, so I was. And you were supposed to work him over so that we could prove that the man posing as Tymac was a phony. Yeah. Yeah, and I had him, too, until they all ganged up on me. And I, I remember hitting the ground, then blackout. Well, the second man sneaked up on you. But I got a line on which direction they took. Well, what are we waiting for? For the fog to lift out of your mind, and then we're going after them. Fog's lifted. Good. Well, we roll down, so let's start climbing up. Did the professors know their lesson? Or well, whatever they know, they're keeping it to themselves. Well, can't you put on enough pressure? Well, we played plenty rough. But you didn't get their story. Well, they still insist Dr. Tarmac has gone to the moon. If you ask me, I think they're slightly moon crazy. You'll still get another chance at them, but right now there's something else to worry about. What? Bradford's crowd suspects Ladron's pulling a phony. Then Ladron's on the spot. And doesn't know it. Bradford's pal spilled the news. We took care of him. And the rest of the party must know about Ladron, too. Then it's our move. That's why we hurried back. Set up an out for Ladron. Our best bet is for Black and me to get back to the lodge and let Ladron know what's going on. What about these two? We'll hold on to them. You and Dent stand by until you hear from us. Then you'll bring Ladron here? That depends on what happens at the lodge. But we'll get word to you. We better get back there as soon as we can. of our opposition. Well, we can soon find out. Yeah, but we have to be careful until we find out what's inside. You know, one of us ought to keep an eye outside. I'll do it. You think you can look after these two? They're not tied up. It'll be some time before they ever come to. I won't be far away. There's one of them now. Stand by, but be ready to move in. I want to get around behind them.
Just stay where you are. I assumed you were a friend. We'll save that for later. Well, this is Eric Pyrus. I'm Louis Walter. Okay, you can tell that to my friend. Well, tell him your story. I think I saw a photograph of you two gentlemen. Aren't you supposed to be the assistant of Dr. Tymack? That is correct. This is Eric Byrus, and I'm Louis Walton. I'd like to believe that. Yes, I admit it does present a difficulty. Suppose I mention a name like uh, Dr. Clausen. Uh -huh. I would say that he's a go-between for Dr. Tymack and Brick Bradford. Does the name Bradford suggest anything to you? Well, it should. I own it. <laughs> Perhaps we have found a way out of our dilemma, Mr. Bradford. From what we overheard, we shouldn't delay any longer. We ought to get out of here immediately. We'd better take those two galoots with us. We can wake them up, that is. That'll delay us. You tie them up, Sandy, and they'll be here when we get back. Just what happened to Dr. Tymack? Then, uh, whoever has taken over the doctor's lodge doesn't know the truth. No one around here seems to know where doctor is going. Right now, the doctor is on the moon. Uh. Now, Mr. Walter, uh, you're among friends. Fortunately, our enemies also disbelieved when we were forced to tell them. Now, do you mean to tell me seriously that uh, Dr. Tymack is on the moon? Yes, sir. the moon. It was the result of many experiments. Experiments, of course, but what were they? My equipment is on the Earth, unfortunately. And I'm sure it's impossible to explain it here. I'm inclined to believe he brought some of his equipment along. That seems reasonable. I assure you it's impossible to transport my equipment over so great a space. You're to be held until we make further investigations. When time permits, I shall speak to you of matters concerning the Earth planet. I assure you I'll be at your service. Akbar, take him away and keep him under guard. These are my assistants. Doctor, there's a matter of importance we'd like to discuss with you. Oh, of course, gentlemen. You'll excuse me? I'll join you later. I thought I told you to keep away from her. Something's going wrong. What is it? Bradford knows you're not Dr. Tymack. How do you know that? Bradford's partner was lying in wait for Albert. We don't have to worry about him anymore. We took good care of him. What about Bradford? We don't know. He may have gone for the police. That's why we hurried back here to suggest that we clear out. Not until I've completed this assignment. Until I've learned Tymac's secret. I don't mean give up. Just get away from the lodge. Perhaps you're right. But first, we must dispose of any witnesses Bradford might be able to use. You mean the professor and his daughter? Yes. And I know just how to make it look like an accident. I'm sure he doesn't know that we suspect him. Those two men who just came in are here for some reason. All right, June. Now, what do you think we ought to do? I think we should leave at once. And find Brick and Sandy. I hope you didn't intend to leave us all abruptly, Miss Salisbury. I was just telling my assistants that I have something in the laboratory I wanted you both to see. We've seen enough for the time being. But I insist. Please escort our friends into the laboratory. You don't want to refuse the doctor, do you? I think we'd better do as they say, June depend upon a scientific mind being logical. Uh, 
In exactly 10 minutes, the radioactive ray will be turned on, and our friends will be directly in its path. Here is a chance, Professor, to see how good a logical mind really is. You have 10 minutes. Let's get out of here. Yes. I think we can leave now. he might find use for. Well, just what was he looking for? Come, I'll show you. This apparatus is the secret we are guarding. I activated it only for a moment. In this bulb, a vaporized mineral, under extreme pressure, emits rays powerful enough to intercept and destroy any atomic missile. What is the mineral? It is unknown on Earth. Dr. Timac found a minute quantity in a meteor. Since then, he has been able to discover the mineral only on the far side of the moon. He has called it Runarium. But if you don't mind, that's just a little hard to believe. I know that, but I will show you the proof. After 50 years of research, Dr. Timac perfected this space door. With the proper controls, you can be transported anywhere, if there is a corresponding door at the other end to complete the cycle. This is fantastic. You mean to say there's a door like this on the moon? Yes, propelled there by a guided space ship. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but I still don't believe it. In science, we never dispute evidence, Brick. What evidence do we have? We're in a position to prove this for ourselves. For example, I should like to be with Dr. Timac, if he really is on the moon. Well, so would I. I think you can assist us. You wish to make the journey? I'm ready. You're not going to leave us behind. Well, you'll stay here with Sandy. This laboratory must be guarded. Brick's right. There's no use arguing. Brick's made up his mind. Well, I think we're ready. I'll go first. I'll set the machinery in motion.
Are you ready? Yes. call this meeting to inform you that two exiles have entered the forbidden area. They are to be given a taste of the fiery death. Our danger grows unless we complete plans to annihilate the entire exile colony. Give heed to this.